Hello, everybody. Um, let me get this piece of rock out from underneath me. It's been a long time. Um, I've been taking a break and just trying to get some things taken care of on a personal level. But I want you to know I'm going to start doing um, some more classes. So this is just going to be sort of a bridge into um, moving everybody to Patreon. And I will upload a couple of times a week um, classes. And I'm going to restructure it and everything. But for now, I'm putting this on YouTube so all of you guys that are trying to get through the summer pain-free and... I uh, want to learn a little bit about yoga. This is just a basic uh, yoga class. I am doing <laughs> what we call Texas hot yoga in the shade, but um, also got a bunch of acorns underneath me, so I guess I'll be getting some acupressure as well. <laughs> I'm cool with that, though. Um, but the first thing I want to do is um, just remind you to take a breath. So we're just going to breathe. In through our nose and out through our mouth with our hands placed right here on the, our um, energy center our dantian <sighs> and just kind of bring yourself into this space if you don't have this quiet space yet um pause the video and then come back to me whenever you're ready and that you can take that breath and know that nobody's going to bother you <sighs> and just Allow yourself to breathe nice, long, even inhales and exhales. Drop your shoulders to your side. <sighs> Begin to open your eyes and we're actually gonna start uh, with a wide legged stance here. Toes can be pointed out a little bit. Hands on the hips. We're going to just slowly take ourselves down the middle. You might feel that stretch. You want to keep your knees straight. And just hold yourself halfway down. Just for a breath. Then drop your hands all the way down to your ankles or as far as you can go. We're going to move a little bit fast in this move in this set because I'm getting attacked by mosquitoes and I don't want to get too many bites on me. So we're going to step up out of that. Bring yourself to the front of the mat. Just basic uh, yoga poses. So hands are going to come up, reaching to the sky, palms facing each other. When you release, we're going to bend the knees and come up, bring the arms back behind you. So you're sort of creating this shoulder rotation while bending the knees. So com compounding some movements together to get a quicker set. Most of us complain that we don't have enough time, right? So this will be a short set. And if this is your first time to yoga, I hope you enjoy it and you feel great afterwards. Arms come up and then you're gonna push your hips forward. Look back behind you. And then sweep forward with your hands. We call the swan dive into a forward fold. Place your hands down drop the head this is the decompression that a lot of people need to help with any kind of neck issues they might have 
shoulder stuff that they're sitting at a desk all day long just helping them to release some of that the discs from their neck now we're coming all the way back up reach 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 and then drop back down again with the knees back up pushing the hips forward a little bit remembering to breathe all the way down then we're going to step back into down dog so you're trying to press your heels back release the head down then you're going to drop your knees down into a child's pose so pushing your butt towards your heels get this microphone in the right place head down we're just going to immediately come back up to that down dong but we're going to move it forward and back Lowering the hips and then pushing yourself back up into that pyramid. Step your feet forward. And come all the way back up. So left foot is going to come back right foot forward. This is a warrior pose. Arms out in front. So you're bending the knee so it's like it's 90 degree in the front. And we're just going to move with this one too. So we're going to reach back, straighten the leg, and then just come. You can use your knee as a brace or you can drop down. And then you just sort of come back up. So bend in the knee, bringing that arm over, and then back up. Again, choosing where you want your hands to be. Try to bend that knee when you're doing this, though. The next time you're up, I want you to hold it and reach back behind you. Rest your hand on your back leg. Both legs are straight and you're reaching, opening up the side body. Come back forward so we're going to stay on this right foot now all you're going to do is just lift yourself up what we call warrior three so if this is hard for you you can just put your foot back here and balance or balance down here and lift the foot up but if you feel confident and you want to come all the way up into a warrior three this is really great for strengthening the knees, the, the whole leg, just toning the whole leg. And also tightening the core. Then we drop that foot back, slide down that front leg, turn the back foot in and straighten the front knee. Bring the head to the knee. Then all we're going to do is change feet. So left foot forward. Same thing. So you have that bend in the knee out into warrior. And then we're going to start to move that. So lifting up. Leg is straight. Reaching back. 
And then when we come forward, we bend the knee, either hanging out on the top of the knee or dropping the hand down, reaching over. So it's up and back, down and over. Just doing this a couple of times. If this starts to be too hard for you, you can always just come back to a standing position or put yourself into a child's pose. <sighs> Trying to get all that connective tissue stretched out. It's all that it's what really makes us feel tight. Next one, we're gonna hold it up. Take a breath, come back up to the front. So you jump your foot forward. So remember, you can do warrior three a lot of different ways. You can put your foot out back to try to develop that balance. You can place your hands down, leg up, or pull yourself all the way up. and breathe. Drop the back foot. We slide down the front leg, straightening the knee. Bringing the nose to the knee. From here, all we do is take that foot back into down dog again. Drop the head between the arms. Push the heels back. Shift your body all the way forward. We're going to do upward dog. So you're dropping the back of the body, lifting with the arms, pushing your chest forward. Head is just nice and tall. Arms are strong. Back into child's pose. So with yoga, you're always just trying to do a little bit more, stretch a little bit further, hold the pose a little bit longer. It's a very gentle practice, but it also helps to create the self-awareness within our bodies again. It brings us back to our bodies. We're so disconnected these days. So now we're just going to move through a couple of rounds of, of cat-cow. You're on all fours, we call this tabletop. Drop in the belly, lifting the head. So we're creating this arch in the back, both ways. Back to center. You're gonna walk up onto your knees. So I know a lot of you guys have knee trouble. If this hurts your knees, you can place a roll, rolled up towel behind your legs or place something more padded under your knees. Hands in the small of the back. Just gonna push forward, lift the chin.
and back down just drop down into a quick little child's pose to counter that arch that we did in the camel pose and then we're going to turn setting down so the soles of the feet are together the knees sometimes they can be high that's okay if you feel like that's hard for you to keep your legs down or you fall back just try to find your balance you can put your elbows inside your legs you can hold your feet we're gonna take a breath so straighten the spine up exhale fold forward Coming back up, now all we're gonna do is sit Indian style, easy pose. If that's hard for you, you can keep your feet out a little bit. Turn to the right, look over that shoulder twist. Go to the left, same thing. You're trying to look your eyes as far behind as possible. Keep yourself nice and straight. Use your hand as a lever to sort of push you back. Come back to the middle couple of stir the bowls we're going to go both ways so just bring in your pelvis around the base of your body right at your hips Go the opposite direction. This is really great for digestion or any kind of GI issues. Back to the middle. Do some shoulder rolls, just shifting side to side. And that's it. Namaste.